Hi guys, I just got this cooler off of Amazon and I checked uh, YouTube right now. It looks like nobody's uh, uploaded a review on it. Um, I think it just like, came out like only like a, like 30 days ago at most. So I don't know. I, um, I'm here at home uh, on Easter week and I figure, hey, you know, I'll be the first one to review it then. So here we go. Um, really quick, really quick. So here's the box right it's called the scythe mugen version 6 and this is the uh the pricier expensive a uh, black edition there's a there's a non-black edition right that's like a stainless steel and i believe that's like uh ten dollars less so if it if if you don't care for the black edition then you can save like eight to ten dollars less and just get the the stainless steel version so of course I got the black edition this one looks a lot cooler right so this just came out this is uh this is a little bit newer than the Fuma 3 I don't know if you guys know about that but the Fuma 3 came out um I think uh, um like maybe six months ago and that's been out of stock uh on Amazon forever only recently uh Amazon started to carry the Fuma 3, again, it's in stock right now if you want to get the Fuma 3. However, the Fuma 3's I see uh, uh, online right now is not the Black Edition. So looks like uh, the Fuma factory uh, is prioritizing the Mugen, Mugen 6 right now. And so this one has a Black Edition. And not only that, if you get the Fuma 3, you can't get the, the this fan. Here, let me show you that. So what you get in this one, you're getting, a, it looks like you're getting the newest technology that Scythe is offering for you right now. So check out this fan. Um, you don't get this in this, you don't get this fan in the Fuma 3 right now. Um, this is called the Wonder Tornet Tornado. So this, this, uh, this is like the newest, newest modern looking uh, fan you can get right now. It looks like, uh, to me, it looks like a video card video card fan you see how the the blades are like swirly kind of like uh, what you would see on uh, on on a Boeing uh, Boeing jet engine right that's what to me it looks like to me right that looks like a Boeing jet engine so yeah so this is brand new so if you want this the most modern uh, fan you're gonna have to get the move full Mugen 6 or just wait just wait till uh, Scythe comes out with the next revision of the Fuma 3 with this fan because that you can't get the Fuma 3 in a black edition, at least not yet, but I, I guess it's on the drawing board. And another thing, if you want the, um, there is no ARGB version yet, but I checked Amazon, so you can get uh, on your own, you can spend $20 more and order the Scythe ARGB fan, which is about 20 bucks. You can order that separately. And then just, you know, leave one of these out or use this for a case fan or anything. And then you put the ARGB fan in its place. So here, let me show you uh, what you get. So I quickly unboxed it for you. So you got the black edition comes with two fans. If you get the, the, the stainless steel cheaper version, you only get one fan. So that's another thing. So yeah, for $10, $10 more, what you're paying for is a, an extra fan and you get the cooler painted in black. So I think it's worth it. That's worth 10 bucks. Hell yeah, it's worth 10 bucks. Right, so you get your two fans, right? And here's the cooler, which is really cool. Instead of a two tower version, like the Fuma 3, you get a, a nicer, simpler single tower, right? So, uh, you know, it's just a lot easier to throw this on, on the motherboard, right? And um, uh, looks like Scythe is doing the same exact uh, design, similar design, like they did with the Fuma and the Mugen uh, previous versions. So as you can see, what you got going here, if you look at the co other content creators, what they'll tell you is like, um, you see this, the, the pipes are tilted towards the back instead of, you know, Instead of most, uh, even today, even today, uh, most CPU coolers, the pipes are are straight up and down, which is kind of like 
to be honest with you, that, you know, that's, that's, that ship has sailed. I mean, that's old school. I mean, like, come on, guys. This is where we want to be right now. This is the modern CPU air cooler with the pipes tilted to the back. So I would say, like, you know, all these companies need to, you know, get on board. What This is what it's supposed to be. You need your pipes tilted back. All right. So if you, if you, uh, anytime you're looking at CPU air curls, if you see the pipe straight up and down, I would say forget those coolers. Go with, you know, go with this modern style, which the pipes uh, back. And why is that? Here, let me show you why. So when you have a, so here, here's a motherboard, right? So we got a, a nice motherboard here. So when you, when you mount, when you mount the CPU, right? CPU air cooler onto the board. See what you see is you want you want the base plate right over the CPU, right? And see what what happens is that the the cooler is going to be set back towards the back of the case. And so what what you what happening here is that in the front between the cooler and the very first RAM slot, you still got room. So so what you what happens is so what happens is once you once you mount the the fan onto the cooler with the standard clips, right? Right? So it's going to be like that, right? So you got your fan and you got your cooler and you still have room between the front fan and the very first RAM slot. So on, you know, on, like a, even on this particular yeah, it barely clears it. You see that it barely clears it on this board, I would say. Yeah, that's about right there. Yeah, it's going to barely clear it but like i say i mean that kind of sucks because like i say if you want to get fancy with with four slots and you and you get those really fancy expensive ram sticks that are like super tall with the argb and like some sort of heat spreader what, what the problem is this fan the very front fan is going to be blocking that ram slot or you got to actually put the fan right on top of the ram stick and that sucks especially if it's argb right so yeah, this is the way, I don't know, This I think it's standard, it should be standard now. This is what you want, so, you know, I, I don't know why, but most kind of crazy don't even talk about that. You want the pipe slanted to the back when you buy an air cooler now. You know, it, when the pipe is straight up and down, that ship is sailed, that's like old school, that's, you know, it's a ya paso de moda, right? Okay, so what else I see Fuma doing on this one? Yeah, um... I've seen it on the other reviews of the older Scythe, and they're doing it here too. So you see the base plate? What you got here is the, the cooler fins are shifted off-centered as well from uh, left from the left. See? So what's going to happen is, again, so if you got your uh, motherboard, let me show you real quick just in case so you can have an idea. Okay, right? See? Okay, so you got the fins on the motherboard, right? So what this is going to do, it moves the, the whole stack forward up on the board, right? And so what that's going to do, it's going to give you space between the video card and the cooling fins. So that's what that's for. The only thing uh, might be a problem is make sure that, you know, you have room on top. Don't buy one of those cases. Don't buy one of those cases that you don't have room on the very top of the motherboard, you know, because imagine if you got the ra uh, if, if you got one of those cases where it's really low. So what happens if you put uh, the radiator on the very top on the on the top of the case, then you add your fans and then this thing is shifted up. Now you got almost no room between it. So, you know, you have to take that in consideration uh, not to get a not to get a case that's too small. Make sure it's tall enough. And, you know, look that there's enough room. you got plenty of room for a radiator on top, then the fan on top, and then you can still put your hands, uh, your fingers between there. You know, you got enough room to build around the case. You know, otherwise, you know, you're going to have a hard time uh, building it, right? Okay, so let me see. I think, I think that's it. I just wanted to make that point just a... Uh, uh, so, so, yeah, so that's, that's the thing unique about this. It's tilted to the back. It's tilted to the back, and uh, the, the fins are tilted towards the top of the case. And what else is unique about this? Yeah, the, um, this one's better than the full, than the older scythe because look at these fins. They're like um, they're not sharp anymore. <laughs> uh, 
Um, if, if you ever uh, messed with some of the older Fumas, th these blades are like a knife. You can actually cut yourself, but they did a really nice job here that, you know, you can run your fingers on top of it. It feels nice. Uh, you're not going to cut yourself. Okay. And here, uh, let me show you the base plate. That's another thing you want to get, uh, you know, spend a little bit more money and get, get some of these modern uh, air coolers that have this plate. You know, on, on the bummier coolers, the pipe actually touches the CPU. On these uh, up, uh, more modern style coolers, you'll have this plate. You'll have a, a pipe and then you they have a plate on there and that plate is what actually touches the CPU. And I guess that like dissipates the heat better rather than uh, the bummier way, which is pipes, uh, pipes that are uh, without the base plate. So I think that's enough for that cooler. And what else? And what's, what else is in the box? You get this screwdriver, um, just like before. Uh, I had this older side, uh, they give you this screwdriver as well. So with, you need the screwdriver because, um, you know, the fr since it's tilted to the back, the screw, the front screw, you could screw it in no problem. However, this back screw, they, they made a hole. They made a hole to get access so you can get access to the, the back screw, right? So that's what that's for. And you know, most people, uh, I guess, don't have a uh, regular screwdriver. So if you have like a regular size screwdriver, it might not reach, right? Well, I got one right here, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, okay, here you go. See, this is a regular house, a regular screwdriver that you would buy uh, at Harbor Freight, right? That's, that's the standard sh shaft, length of the shaft of a screwdriver, so. Um, and here, let me show you. See, it, it's not long enough. So I don't know. Most people, uh, if this is the only screwdriver you go home, you know, you know what I mean. So I think that's a good idea. They they gave you the they gave you this because, like I say, most people won't have uh, this shaft screwdriver at home. It just they just don't. So now that saves you a trip to the Harbor Freight or whatever. Uh, what else? Else. And uh, there's a bag of screws, right? And they gave you a little spatula. They gave you a spatula and a little tube of thermal paste. I think that's like what? Uh, what? Maybe three, four applications? Yeah. Always use a spatula. I, I like to use a spatula, you know. That way you don't, have, you don't have to guess if it's actually being spread evenly. So I always use a spatula myself. Um, so here's the bracket, right? It, it looks like they only give you one bracket, so I assume this is for Intel and AMD, everything, right? So, coincidentally, I just tested it right now the, uh, on my uh, Alder Lake board. It's already preset. <laughs> so, that's kind of funny. Maybe, yeah. So, yep, yep. So, the spacing is already preset for... Uh, Alder Lake 1700, so that's Intel 12, 13, and 14. It's already preset for that. I don't, so, so if you got older Intel, you're going to have to uh, remove these plastic caps on the back end and slide the screws in or out to get the right spacing you need. Okay, and they give you three sets of brackets. They give you Intel 1700, and then this the second set is Intel uh, 11th generation all the way back to first generation, and these these ones I believe are uh, AMD. So that's AM4, AM4, or AM5. I don't know. That's the only one I see here for Intel uh, for AMD. So I assume this is this is for AM4 and AM5. I, I don't really use AMD, so I don't know. But yeah, I think that's the only one they that they gave you for AMD is this one, and I know this is uh, Intel 1700, and this middle one is uh, Intel uh, older, from 11th generation all the way back to first generation. Okay, and they give you a little fan splitter in case um, in case you got a bummy board, right? Yeah, because like I say, on this on this board it's it's kind of a bummy board, but they you still get a CPU 
one and CPU two fan header right here, right? But you know, if you got some older boards, you're only going to have one header right there. So that's that's what this is for. Uh, the black one goes on uh, the the front fan, and this one goes on the back one. If you want to use it, huh? You know, I guess you don't have to use the rear fan if you don't want to. It's up to you, I guess. Uh, and see, that's a fan, right? And here's the bag of you got four clips, just regular uh, Cooler Master style clips. You know the the easy ones. You just hook them, hook them to here and here, and you clip it around. Just standard, nothing special. Just like Cooler Master, right? And uh, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Uh, both fans are the same exact fans, same fans, same uh, same standard 120 fans, 120 millimeter. I uh, standard, you know, standard 25 millimeters wide, and they both turn in the same direction. So you know, if you put them, if if you put one uh, one in the back, they both face the same way, right? Because like on some CPU coolers, you're gonna put this backwards, but not on this one. On this one, it's just regular. Uh, they turn the same way, so they both have to face back, right? So both of these are like that when you mount it into the case, right? And uh, yeah, the header, the the pin, they're both four pin. If anyone's wondering, they're both same fan. So this is a four pin, and this is a four pin. So you know, the bet ideally you want to plug them both into the motherboard, right? Uh, the front fan goes on CPU option, uh, CPU one, and this one on the board sometimes say CPU two or uh, CPU option or pump uh, is the back fan. And blah, 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 blah. There's your manual if you need to read the instructions. If you lose it, just download it from the side of the website. And let me see, is that it? Yep, that is it. Okay, so uh, I hope that helps anybody out there. Any questions, just let me know and uh, um, have patience. Um, like I say, uh, this this uh, this CPU just came out, um, I don't know, maybe like 30 days ago. So it's possible. I just checked right now on YouTube and nobody has done a review on it. Um, the only uh, video I've seen so far that's upload, uploaded is by the actual Scythe website. So um, on YouTube, if you go to the, the official Scythe uh, YouTube channel, go there and they have a video uh, describing how to mount this. If you want to see the guy, uh, he actually puts it on the board and he actually puts the screws down. So, you know, if you want to go see the, how to actually install it, uh, just look at that video. Just go to the Scythe channel on YouTube, and they already have uploaded a video on that. But uh, as far as reviews, nobody's reviewed on it. Nobody's uh, done any temperatures or anything like that. So, I uh, you know, just wait. Just have patience for that. Uh, I'm sure like uh, some of the other channels will start. Uh, the you know the big content creators. Uh, they probably they probably already received the cooler. They just haven't had time to, uh, you know, actually do all the testing and stuff. Uh, if, if you're wondering like what kind of CPUs, uh, you know, I, I'm feeling like this is for like um, i5K, i7K, I would say i9K uh, gaming only, you know, don't, you, you know, you wouldn't put a, you wouldn't put a heavy load on this with an i9K. I would say if you do something like that, you have to go into the BIOS and uh, underclock it and undervolt the CPU for an i9 because yeah, this thing is going to get hot like a, like big time so but yeah like it uh ideal I'm, I'm thinking this cooler is ideal sweet spot would be an i5k or an i7k or it's equivalent in the ryzen uh ryzen cpus that's what i'm thinking so what uh ryzen 5 and ryzen 7 um would be would be okay and maybe at ryzen 9 maybe not <laughs> Okay, so I think that's all I can uh, think of right now. Any any other questions? Um, you know, if you need like uh, specs, just uh, have patience. Just just wait till the the content creators are start making the actual temperature benchmarks and stuff. But it's a pretty nice cooler. Uh, I really uh I really like it. Uh, so if anybody's looking for a nice 
decent looking air cooler you can get this and like i say you can't get um this is a regular size a or gb fan so technically you know you can either go on amazon and get a, a legitimate legitimate sivy a or gb cool fan and that costs 20 bucks or you can just uh you know really uh since you could it uses universal cooler master clips right you can just go uh, on Amazon or Newegg and just order any uh, ARGB fan, you know, from Corsair or Leon Lee or whatnot. And, you know, I would say like, I would say like keep the, use the, this for the rear, right? I would still keep the rear one. And then if you want an ARGB fan, then, you know, just replace the front one. And then the second, you know, you can use this somewhere around the case or keep it for another build or something. But yeah, this is a really nice fan though, you know. Yeah, I love these new new flame blades, you know, this uh, turbo jet engine shape. Really nice. So, yeah, for me, uh, two thumbs up. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, tomorrow is Easter, so happy Easter, everybody. God bless. Bye-bye.